Hello friends, welcome to our book talk this week. Today I will introduce potato to, from potato to french fry and this is one of our early reader books in the early reader collection and it is part to a series um, beginning to end. It introduces the kids to the facts from when and how potatoes are uh, re uh, grown and through how they become french fries. A very interesting book. And also, I want to introduce Hello Friend Hola Amigos by 123 Andres. 123 Andres is actually a duo and the book is actually a song. The authors have received a Grammy Award in the past and you can sing along while you read this book. Award-winning author Cynthia Lychek Smith recently re-released Indian Shoes, a slice of life beginner chapter book about a young Cherokee Seminole boy, Ray Halfmoon, and his grandfather living in Chicago. Short chapters explore loving and joyful experiences from fishing to art contests. This would be a great read aloud book for an entire family to enjoy together. Hi, today we have Karthik Delivers by Sheila Chari. Karthik has a secret. He's been cast in the school play about Leonard Bernstein as the lead, but he also has to help deliver groceries for his family's store where they could lose the store. Karthik has to balance his love of acting with the needs of his family. Will his parents understand that this may be his special talent? Will Karthik be able to do both? Will he win the day? You'll have to read Karthik Delivers to find out. Finally, we have Long Distance by Whitney Gardner. Vega is miserable. Her dads have moved her from Portland to Seattle and she had to leave her best friend behind. Worse yet, they've sent her away to a camp to make a new friend because she's shy. This camp is strange. The counselors are robotic, the food is terrible, and what's up with the kid named George? He keeps changing his personality. The art is fun, there's lots of twists and turns, and I think you'll really enjoy this graphic novel, Long Distance. Teen romance fans will love Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant. Tessa Johnson is just about to start at an elite fine art school where she's excited to spend her days writing romance stories. She just didn't count on the fact that she's also going to have to share those stories with the other students. Struck by writer's block, she decides to follow her best friend's advice and stage her own romance tropes in hopes of inspiring herself to start writing again. But she quickly finds that real life is not a romance novel and things don't go to plan. Visit us at Fruitville Public Library to check out one of these great books.
Hello everyone, welcome to our book talk for this week. Today we'll get started with The Cat and the Rat in the Hat by M. Linus. This is a rhyming tale that will have everyone laughing from the beginning to the end of the story. Please check it out anytime you can. And also, I'm going to talk about Oso Pardo, Oso Pardo Que Ves Ahí by Bill Martin Jr. Correct. This is the Spanish version of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And you will have the same fun and the same um, interaction with your little ones. And you can probably teach them some Spanish. The first book in the Major 8 series, Battle of the Bands by Melody Reed, introduces Jasmine and her friends who love playing music together. When Jasmine finds out about a local Battle of the Bands competition, she has to convince her bandmates that they are ready to take their music to a real stage. This is a really fun beginner chapter book about friendship and music that will appeal to younger fans of the Babysitter's Club. Next up, we have The Secrets of Camp Whatever by Chris Grime. 11-year-old Willow is stuck going to the same old summer camp that her dad went to when he was a kid. It's weird. It's got creepy counselors, campers go missing, this fog that just always stays around, and maybe vampires. Team up with Willow and her friends as they try to figure out what's going on with camp whatever. This is a fun graphic novel. The artwork is really cool and kind of creepy, and I think middle grade kids will enjoy it. Finally this week, we have Cece Rios and the Desert of Souls by Kaylin Rivera. Cece and her family live in an isolated town out in the middle of nowhere, and they are surrounded by witches and evil spirits known as the Creatura. When her older sister Lana goes missing, Cece must mount a rescue mission, and she has to learn to become a bruja, a witch, in order to save her sister. If you're interested in Cece Rios, you'll want to read about whether she learns to follow her heart or her head and succeeds in saving her family. Alone Out Here by Riley Redgate is an exciting sci-fi adventure for teen readers. With a world-ending volcano ready to erupt, the plan's leaders and scientists have built the Lazarus, a spaceship meant to save thousands. But when the volcano erupts early, U.S. first daughter, Lee Chen, and a few dozen teenagers are the only ones aboard the ship as it launches. Can this unexpected crew pull together to save themselves, or will they be pulled apart by their differences? Visit us at the Pluto Public Library to check out one of these great books.